Yo, what up? This is Brahim Lark, one half of the online tipsters. And no, you do not see me on StreamYard today because what we are talking about today, I needed to share my phone. And right now, StreamYard won't let me share my phone. I'm annoyed, but we're still going to get it over with, right? Do me a favor, hit the subscribe, hit the, uh, hit the bell. And so you can get notified of all new videos that we come out with so you, that you can be alerted. But today we are exposing the Q coin trading bot. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, man, so today I'm going to go ahead and um, expose this Q coin trading bot. Now, now y'all, um, I used the trading bot for about a week and um, I'm going to show you the results that I got. Um, I kind of just stumbled onto it, but you know, the online tipsters, we always want to go ahead and try things out. I stumbled onto it using Qcoin while I was in my Qcoin account. So, you know what? Let me try this out, get some results and share it with the people. With Qcoin uh, Trading Bot, unfortunately, it is not available on your desktop. So if you want to um, try to start up a bot, you're not going to be able to do it from your desktop. You can only do it from your phone. All right. Now, there's a, there's three different types of bots that uh, Qcoin has. So the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and click on Trade and then click on Trading Bot. All right. Now, when you, once you click on trading bot, you'll see the three different types of bots Qcoin has available for you. OK, the classic grid, the DCA and the futures grid. What you want to do is think about these like you think about a 401k plan. Right. So the DCA is for the more moderate, more conservative, more safe trades. All right. And I'm just breaking this down in layman's terms. Let me just go ahead and, and say this right now. I am not a financial advisor. I do not play one on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or anywhere else, all right? I'm just letting y'all know some things that I do, you know, different gains, different strokes for different folks, you know, different income levels. We try to bring it all to you, all right? So DCA, more conservative, um, you know, lower risk trades, less volatility. Then you have the futures grid, okay? The futures grid is for really, really, really safe trades. They're long-term trades, they're, uh, and the bots will do these long-term trades for you. Me, myself, I like the classic grid, and the classic grid is, is uh, the bot that will actually trade daily. You can watch your returns. I got some really, really good results with it, right? So matter of fact, let's just go to the profit history real fast. All right, now. I let that buy in the last seven days, right? I think I put about $850 um, and I was trading ETH versus USD, right? USDT. I was trading ETH versus USDT. I let the bot run for five days straight. Y'all, I actually could have made a lot more. Uh, this thing peaked out probably at about two, 215. And I just kind of just played, played the, uh, you know, just played the odds and I ended up walking away. Once I turned the bot off, I ended up walking away with $144 in total profits, right? So the bot was pretty good. It works. And I'll show you how you can make educated decisions on how to run the bot. But first, let's check out how to set it up, right? So the first thing I'm going to do, if you guys do not have a Qcoin account, if you don't have a Qcoin account, um, look in the description and you can uh, sign up, it's free, and you can have a Qcoin account. If you do have a Qcoin account, you are going to, if for, for the purposes of setting up this trading bot, you are going to want to have your money in your trading account, okay? So let's go to my assets. Now, just for the sake of this, uh, of this exercise, I went ahead and I already converted some of my ETH into USDT. You're going to want to convert um, whatever trading pair that you want the trading bot to do, you're going to want to make sure that you fund the trading bot with that with that uh, currency of that trading pair, right? So whatever the dominant currency is. Um, so I'm I'm going to show you what I'm what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up a brand new bot right now. So I already have USDT in my wallet, right, and it's already in my trading account. 
If you don't know how to how to transfer your money from your main account to your trading account, it's very simple. If you're on your main account, you just hit transfer, and then it, you pick the uh, you pick the currency you want to transfer, and then you can just transfer it to your uh, from your main account to your trading account, right? For this exercise, my money's already in my trading account. Cool. I got four hundred and fifty three dollars of USDT that I'm going to use for the trading bot. Okay. So now I'm going to go to the trading bot. I'm going to hit trade again. I'm going to click on trading bot. Now, once I click on trading bot, I'm going to click on classic grid because I want to start a classic grid. Now, the cool thing about this, let me go back and show y'all something though, really fast. This is how you can actually make an educated decision on what pairs that you may want your um, trading bot to trade for you, all right? So if you click on ranking, you can see what trading bot. So you see you have the classic grid trading bots during the top three, actually the top six, and then you have the futures grid that we looked at. You have another futures grid that's up there in the top 10. Um, so you can actually pick which grid. And then if you look, you see the leaderboard of the profits. Now, seven day, you can click on the seven day ranking, the leaderboard, the pair is AAVE versus USDT. And you can see the profits that everybody's been getting with that. So let's go ahead. I'm going to set up that grid. All right. So I'm going to go back to, um, to bots. I'm going to click on classic grid. And then I'm going to, from the drop down, I'm going to select uh a a i'm just going to search a a v e now you'll see you'll see it pop up a a v e versus usdt click on that and now we're going to create a bot that's going to be trading a a v e and usdt go ahead and click create now you can go ahead and what you want to do is hit the drop down here and pick the currency that you are trading with that's in your uh, trading account. So we're going to fund this bot with USDT. I want this pair. I want that pair. All right. Okay, create. And then you'll see your confirmation order. Now, guys, your price range. You can, I'll show you where you can change this. What I recommend is just leaving whatever the bot has as your price range, leave it like that. But for the advanced traders, I'll show you how you can actually change that price range if you want, okay? So you just hit confirm. And now it's going to go ahead and it's going to start the bot. All right. So the bot is uh, the bot is started. It's running right now. This pair is down, um, but I I expect it to go back up. I'll let it run. If I want to go ahead and change the price range, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this little square, and you see where the low price range is: four hundred five point zero three six. So I can put four hundred five point zero three six right point zero three six and then i can make the high um i can change it now if the high was 780 something i can make the high you know 800 if i want or i can lower it below what they suggested at at you know maybe 600 something right so you can do that and then you can pick how many orders you want to run. It'll tell you if you can go up to all the way up to 81 orders, meaning you can catch those gains 81 times. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just go out. This is down, but now the bot is running. You let it go for as lo ever long as you want it to go. If you want, if you see gains and you want to go ahead and take your gains, this is how you take your gains out. You're just going to hit this little button up here. And then you can uh, choose how you want your gains taken out. You just hit that, hit confirm, and it's going to transfer it right back to your trading account. All right. So, y'all, that is how you um, set up the uh, the grid bot on, on uh, QCoin. You can also, sorry, y'all, we have, let me show y'all one more thing, okay? If I click on trading bot, 
and it shows I have one trading bot running. Now I can set up as many of these bots as I want. So you can set 10 different bots up, different pairs. You can set, you can set them up as, as many as you want, right? Um, and you can also click on profits and see what your profits are. Right now, those are my total profits from, you know, from my previous, um, uh, previous run with the bot. Uh, it'll, it'll start showing my, my current run soon. So, all right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed that video. Catch y'all on the next one. All right. All right. Peace.